Good afternoon, and I'm very pleased to welcome you to this uh, IIEA seminar on the Czech presidency. My name is David O'Sullivan, and I'm the director general, and I will be chairing uh, this webinar. And we are very delighted to be joined today by Marek Havda, the deputy minister for European affairs of the Czech Republic, who has taken time out from his very busy schedule, I imagine, in the run-up to a presidency, uh, to speak to us today about the priorities of the forthcoming uh, Czech EU presidency, which of course is part of the, the trio presidency, which began with France and will be completed by Sweden uh, early next year. Um, the minister will speak to us for approximately 15, 20 minutes or so, and then we'll go to question and answer with our audience, as is the usual practice. Uh, you'll be able to join the discussion using the Q&A function on Zoom, which you should see on your screen. Please, please feel free to send your questions in throughout the session as they occur to you, and we will come to them once the Minister has finished his opening remarks. Uh, I remind you that today's presentation and Q and answer and question and answer session are on the record. Uh, please feel free also to just join the discussion on Twitter using the handle at IIEA. Uh, we are also live streaming this afternoon's discussion, so a very warm welcome to all of you tuning in via YouTube. Um, I'd just like to briefly uh, introduce our speaker. So as I said, uh, uh, Marek Havda is the Deputy Minister for European Affairs of the Czech Government, and he contributes to the coordination of the Czech Republic's positions on EU policies and supports the Czech Presidency of the Council of the European Union in 2022. Uh, he has considerable expertise in the air, in the area of evidence-based policy making, which is always a nice thing to hear, Minister, uh, and the use of behavioral economics for policy formulation. Uh, and among other things, he, all, he worked uh, on impact assessment in the domains of health and consumer protection in the European Commission. So a fellow colleague from, from, from the European Commission, uh, like myself. Uh, and uh, he has uh, served uh, uh, as an advisor for the EU structural funds at the EU Ministry of Education, Youth and Sports. Uh, and he has been, uh, since 2014, a member of the Impact Assessment Board of the Legislative Council of the Czech government. Uh, his educational background is uh, Charles University, a PhD in sociology, uh, and several uh, postgraduate degrees in, in, in John Hopkins, uh, Warwick Business School, and the Central European University. So we're delighted to have you here today, Minister, and we look forward to hearing your uh, description of the, the priorities for the Czech presidency, which is taking over at uh, a rather challenging time in, in European in European politics. Please, the floor is yours. Well, thank you very much for for kind introduction and, and thank you very much for the invitation. I'm <clears throat> really glad I can be here with you today. Um, also, it, it is rather short notice because <laughs> it was my uh, my minister, Minister Mikuláš, back to be with you, but I'm just sending greetings from him and, and, and I'm serving as a replacement. Um, so I got to know just yesterday I will be presenting here. So <clears throat> please bear with me and and please uh, you know feel free as well to interrupt, raise your hands, and and I'm more than happy to 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 to, to have more of the discussion, uh, even as as I will be presenting. But uh, I'm let me start with 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 presenting the 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 Czech priorities, so the political priorities for for the presidency. Uh, the motto uh, of the presidency is, is Europe as a, as a task, um, which is a title of uh, President uh, Václav Havel's speech uh, back uh, from 1996, uh, which he presented in, uh, in the ceremony of uh, award of the Charlemagne Prize in, in, in Aachen in Germany. Uh, Havel reflected uh, on the political map after the fall uh, of the uh, of the of the Berlin Wall, so after the time which was very uh, favorable uh, for uh, for um, for liberal democracies, and that time he was talking about um, about the need that we should reflect on the role of Europe in global affairs and and take responsibility for promoting freedom rule of law and as well responsibility for social economic and environmental uh, issues he was not alluding to 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 some kind of uh, promoting uh, 
a post-colonial vert or, or serving as a, as, a, as, a, as, a, as a colonial power. He was more alluding to um, leading by an example and, and, and by the power of, of, of inspiration, uh, promoting uh, all these values. The invasion uh, of the Russian Federation once again changed completely uh, the geopolitical context on, on, on our continent. And, and, and we feel it is, a, again, a time to for a reflection uh, of, of, of what is uh, what are the tasks in, 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 front, of, uh, in front of Europe. Uh, so, so the motto is Europe as a task, uh, rethink, rebuild and three power and, and repower is in much broader sense just just the 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 the, the energy we think there is an important distinction uh, between the time of whatsapp Havel uh, in, in in mid 90s uh, and today and it is that we don't have the, the luxury of time at the moment uh, we don't have the time for reflection we need to reflect very quickly and 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 be able to 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 act uh, the union has proven uh, maybe to surprise to, to surprise too many that uh, we can act in unity and we can act swiftly and we can be very strong in our in our, in our reaction. But at the same time, uh, maybe we need to be looking for a mix of the policies uh, which will help us to to lead the EU. Um, to tackle the, the new challenges, the, the, the completely changed uh, geopolitical context, but as well to, to lead us towards the long-term goals of the green and uh, digital uh, transitions. Well, based on preliminary reflection, uh, we have selected uh, five priorities, which I would like to share with you now briefly and, and, and have a short, uh, uh, short description of each of them. So first one is managing the refugee crisis and uh, Ukrainians uh, post war recovery, hopefully. As you know, the Russian aggression has caused the, uh, the largest uh, refugee crisis since World War II uh, on the continent. So we must be able to, to take steps uh, to help the, uh, the refugees, mostly women and children, and, 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 and to make sure that we protect the most vulnerable, that we ensure access to education to, to, to the children and, and, and that, that we support the access to the labor market uh, of their mothers. <clears throat> As well, we need to make sure we're able to, to mobilize all the resources and expertise and, and, and use them as efficiently as possibly as possible and, and, and make sure that there is sufficient flexibility in the use of, 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 of the resources which are available. As well as you know, the Czech uh, Republic uh, fully supports the candidate status uh, of Ukraine, and, and 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 we are glad to to see the recent the recent developments. We think it is really important, due to several reasons, <laughs> apart from sending the signals to the Ukrainians and 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 showing them that uh, their future is. Uh, is in Europe, uh, as well sending a uh, signal to, to, to clear, clear signal to Russia. But as well, there is an importance in motivating uh, Ukraine to carry out important, important reforms. Uh, without these reforms, recovery would be very difficult. And, 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 and we need to make sure that rule of law and, 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 and public procurement rules, for example, are applied in, in some manner in Ukraine. Second uh, priority is uh, energy security. We need to uh, speed up uh, of getting rid of the dependency on Russian fossil fuels. Uh, the decarbonization is uh, clearly, uh, needs to be carried out clear in the framework of Fit for 55 and especially uh, the the energy efficiency and, and as well renewable energy sources and and and, and building uh, needed infrastructure including uh, ability to uh, the conditions for diversification of supplies uh, are clear uh, are clear areas we need to work on as well we need to work on on uh, on decarbonization of transport and and as you know uh, there is for example important uh, important um, 
uh, important proposal, uh, AFER, which is on the alternative fuels infrastructure across Europe. At the same time, uh, we need to tackle the, the social aspects uh, of energy. Uh, so we would like to, to try to exchange uh, best practice on, on the negative social impacts and, and how we can deal with them in terms of uh, energy poverty. Third, third area of, uh, of, um, uh, of our priorities is uh, strengthening Europe's defense capabilities as well as uh, cyberspace uh, security. Uh, we want to uh, make sure that uh, we enhance uh, our security and defense capabilities, that we uh, work uh, complementary uh, to the NATO, and, and we will be uh, trying to accelerate the implementation of the so-called uh, strategic compass. Now, it has a number of aspects, so we need to, to, to make sure uh, we increase our abilities, capabilities in strategic military systems and, and logistics, but as well in emerging and disruptive technologies. So, so it has both the, <clears throat> the, let's say, the production and industrial aspect, uh, ability to, 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 to produce advanced systems, but as well to, to be able to, to reduce our dependence in terms of uh, emerging and disruptive uh, technologies. Uh, in terms of the cybersecurity, uh, this is an area uh, which is very, uh, very much on the focus of, of this country. Uh, we need to be working both on, on, on cybersecurity uh, in terms of the resilience of the systems, <clears throat> on the, of, 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 of the information systems and communication infrastructure, but as well we need to be working on, uh, on hybrid hybrid threats and, and, and disinformation. In that relation, we would like to, 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 to see advancement in the implementation of the hybrid, uh, hybrid toolbox. Uh, the fourth priority is the uh, strategic resilience of the uh, Europe's uh, economy. Uh, the, the pandemic and as well the, uh, the aggression uh, of the Russian Federation against Ukraine uh, clearly showed us the how the global supply chains are fragile. Uh, the the Russian invasion as well caused the greatest disruption of commodity commodity markets uh, in 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 the last of the century, and it 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 it, it is going across board uh, from uh, food security uh, to medicines to to semiconductors and, and to raw materials. Uh, we see uh, several aspects which need to be tackled. Uh, both we need to work on, uh, on improving our uh, capabilities, production capabilities on the continents, on the continent, but at the same time, we need to, to improve our trade links uh, with, with, with mostly, especially, pardon, sorry, uh, with the democratic uh, countries uh, across the globe. Uh, they want to uh, deepen the transatlantic cooperation in the framework of trade and, and, and technology council, and as well to accelerate uh, trade uh, trade agreements uh, uh, with uh, Latin America and Indo-Pacific uh, region. In terms of the uh, of the internal market, uh, we see a huge potential to to deepen internal market uh, in digital, especially in digital services. Uh, and here we would like to uh, to accelerate uh, the legislation uh, on on data flows, uh, on artificial intelligence, on and on uh, EID. Finally, uh, the fifth uh, the fifth uh, priority is uh, the resilience of democratic institutions. Um, we think it is of utmost importance uh, we make sure that the democratic institutions in, in the Union, but as well beyond, uh, are, uh, are resilient. Mm, we would like to concentrate on, 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 on some concrete areas, uh, for example, on the, on the independence of mass media, where we expect a proposal uh, from the European Commission as well. We would like to accelerate the work on the transparency of financing of political parties. Um, 
we think again it's crucial to work with like-minded countries uh, and and to use the opportunity of the EU together with like-minded countries to become a global center uh, in different areas, for example, in, in new technologies uh, such as artificial intelligence and to make sure that uh, the, the, the new rules and, 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 and the new standards uh, take into account our values of protection of human rights um, and environment. Finally, uh, getting back to the legacy of President Václav Havel, we would like to support uh, civil societies and independent media uh, beyond uh, the, the, the frontiers of the continent. Well, these are, these are the main priorities. We, of course, uh, built not only on the, on the current situation in terms of the geopolitics, but, but uh, on the current uh, state of quo of the legislative, uh, of the legislative process. As you know, we are at the, at the peak of the legislative process uh, in terms of the current commission. And, and, and there is over, uh, I think, 200 uh, proposals being identified. So, so, you know, based on these priorities, of course, this helps us to, to, to prioritize the works on, on very concrete, concrete proposals. Apart from these five priorities, uh, the program has the second more technical part uh, uh, where we mention uh, or where we list the priority files uh, based on the division of uh, of um, of different council council formations. Yes, I'm looking forward. Uh, uh, thank you for uh, for your attention. I'm looking forward to, to our discussion.